What's going on, Scout Child Warriors? Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we did actually quite a lot. We found out what was going on with the bomb, and we made our way back to our home city from the swamp. In this episode, we're going to be taking on the route that is covered by the Psyduck. The foggy route. Let me actually see if anybody can learn defog. Let me see this. Defog. Oh, Pippi and Roanoa can. I'm gonna give it to Roanoa because I need it. Let's get rid of Thief. I forgot how to use Thief and learn Defog. Um, is Pippi. Yeah, Pippi's a little bit higher level than everyone else. But what item? What does it say item? Oh! Wait, <laughs> Okay. Uh... Okay, so... Continuing on. Actually gonna head up here. And you call your bomb. Wait, let's check on Slavy Davy. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> what does that mean? 12 plus 17. Tw level 29. <laughs> Slavy Davy. Oh my gosh. Anyways, the side are standing for him. Firm. They are not. They are inclined to move. Would you like to use the secret potion? Yes. Use the secret potion. They appear to be cured of their chronic headache. And they're gonna <laughs> the loner. Here comes Cynthia. Oh good, you used the secret potion I gave you. Sadak are known to suffer from chronic headaches, but no one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. Oh yes, can I ask you a big favor? I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in, in Celestic Town. Is it the shiny charm before shiny charm was a thing? I know there are some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it would be worth your while to go. We obtain the old charm. My grandma has this sort of bossy atmosphere about here. I think you'll recognize her right away. Yes, I'm sure you will. She's the elder of Celestic Town. And the location, look on your town map. You can't miss it. Okay, I'm counting on you. See you again down the road. Okay, so let me spray a repel real quick. So we're not wasting time with wild Pokemon. Get off our bike so we can go through this grass. And scoop up this max repel. Speaking of repels. Oh no, there's a trainer. Is there anything there? Right there. I don't really want to fight any of these ninja boys. They're kind of annoying to deal with. Uh, what about here? No? Okay, so we're up here now. A nest ball. Not useful. And here it gets foggy. I don't- I do not want to be able to not see and have low accuracy moves. So I'm going to go ahead and use Defog. And let's back. If I could use Hidden Move Defog, I'd clear up the fog I can see. Yeah. That's what I did. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm going to find a red shard. Okay. Continuing onward. It's actually a double battle. Uh... Let's switch to the 237s. Come on. Okay. And switch them up front. Whoop. Okay. Let's do this one on screen. Why not? 
You didn't watch this, I'm gonna use everything you've taught me. Alright, here we go, double battle. Zack and Jen. Gyarados and Raichu. <laughs> I feel like one of them can completely demolish the other. As much as I want an earthquake, it's only gonna hit Raichu on their side, so I'm not gonna do that. That Gyarados is a threat. Because it could have Ice Fang. So let's try and get that out of here. Oh no, it does! Take it! It's not dab! No! Ah. Uh, let's go out to Jafar. And shockwave the Gyarados. Magical leaf the Raichu. Down goes Gyarados. Raichu's gonna use Thunderbolt. Not gonna do a thing. Put your forehead up with a side beam. Yellow, red, oh. Magical leaf, okay. Dead. Oh, sorry, I bumped the camera. Zack and Jin. Okay, so that's 8600 for winning. I'm gonna go ahead and revive uh, Nathaniel. Because it's one of my best Pokemon. And it's gonna get healed now. Actually, do I have any protein? Let me see. I probably do. No? Raises speed. Let's give it to Dashi. HP up. Who has the highest HP? It's like Pippi does. Special attack. <laughs> you already know. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. So there's a trap. Alright, so continuing past her. Repel wars off. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Uh, oh, are you kidding me? I need to get Sludge Bomb or something on Gardenia. Aw, oh, Slafy Davy, we miss you. Okay, um. Heading over here, we've got another trainer. Alright, what's over here? Nothing. Over here. Oh, dang it! Those ninja boys are annoying. Get ourselves a smoke bowl. Nice. Okay, so. Wait, is there a hidden item right there? Nope. Okay, what's up here? Uh, I'm not gonna mess with those for now. But it's time to head into Celeste Town. We got a great ball. Okay, so let's head over here and talk to the Elder. There's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there, but that only seemed to make him get angry. He's saying he'll blow up the town with a bomb. The nerve of it all. If only I were younger, I'd punish the spaceman with my Pokemon. Well... Oh, whoops. I think somebody might be able to take care of that for you. So... I'm sure you get the drift by now. Let's go take care of him. Right after getting this, uh, dragon thing. Ooh, that's nice, actually. This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll, sh if you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon battle. So what's it going to be? Are you going to mess with me? <laughs> no, the universe. Here we go. Versus another Team Galactic, uh, a grunt, I guess. Let's bubble beam. Down goes Hound Hour. Pippi grows to level 39. Whirlpool, nah. A 
go back. Uh, let's go to Jafar. Side beam. Yellow, red, dead. Oh, so close to level 39. Too much to handle. I can't do anything here. This place is nothing. I'll be happily rid of this place. Oh, you were magnificent. Aren't you quite the trainer? As the elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm? May I see that, dear? What is that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver to me? That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. Old charm is something made in Celestic Town a long, long ago. It is made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. These old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you're in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? And we'll do just that right after turning on our move animations. Let's go in. Examine the cave painting. Mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. There are three strange things forming a triangle. Illuminati confirmed, Illuminati confirmed, and Illuminati confirmed. This cave's, the cave painting's meaning seems to be this. There existed beings, beings so powerful that like they were considered deities at the time. There were three Pokemon with power to match either being. The three kept balance with either being as if they formed an Illuminati. It's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that's still told in Celestic Town. I would like to know. I would like to know more about the legend, if you will. Who might you be? It's Blue Hair. My name is Cyrus. I want to put an end to all pointless strife and hostility. I am seeking the power to create the ideal world. Thus, I want you to answer. The world today can't change because the three Pokémon keep it in balance. Is that what you were saying? I wouldn't know. I do know the world is in balance. I'm quite satisfied, satisfied with the world the way it is. I'm not interested in your question. Plead ignorance, will you? What a pointless attitude. You fail to appreciate that the world is incomplete. I will change the world. As the first step, I will destroy this cave painting that you have protected all these years. A new legend of a new world should take its place. Am I wrong? If you feel that way, challenge me. I know you, trainer. We've met at Mount Coronet. Why would you want to protect this incomplete world? As the boss of Team Galactic, I, sh I will show you the error of your ways. Here we go, versus... Galactic Boss Cyrus, aka Blue Hair. Pippi! Show them a finally stabbed Metal Claw. Him to screech, not really gonna matter. Oh, I missed. No, it's not very effective. There we go. Bop, bop. Come on, do a lot. Ooh, Aqua Jet. Oh, all right. Metal Claw should take him out. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay. There we go. Down goes Sneasel. Here comes Golbat. Let's go into Nathaniel. Okay, Golbat. Dragon Claw. Come on. Okay. Air cutter, take it, take it. Oh my gosh, it's crit. Here we go. Yellow, red, and dead. Sweet. Here comes his last Pokemon, a Murkrow. Um, 
Let's uh go into let's just stay in. You forced my hand this time. And you send out a Murkrow? Oh Nothing no! Okay, let's go into Jafar. Show this thing a shockwave. Get him. Come on, do a lot. Okay, that's good. What's he doing? Citrus berry. Oh no, that's gonna hurt. I wanna take it. Okay, good, good, good. Shockwave? Yes. That should be Mirko taken out. With that, we've defeated Galactic Boss Cyrus. And go to level 39. Player defeated Galactic Boss Cyrus. Impressive. Your prowess is notable. Remarkable. But Elder, your attitude told me what I needed to know. If the beings of time and space are brought together, they can't be stopped. Such a strange, strange man, spouting such nonsense. The time and space of Sinnoh are filled with memories and thoughts of countless people in Pokemon. This is a wonderful world. Why is, what need is there to change it? Oh yes, I found something useful. You should take this. It belonged to my granddaughter, but she doesn't use it anymore. That's HMO3 Surf, which we're going to go and teach to Pippi over Bubble Beam for higher power. Finally. So finally, we have something stronger than Bubble Beam. Uh, let's go ahead and teach it to Pippi. Bubble Beam, you've served us well, but it's time for a better move. 65 to 95. Okay. So let's head down here, back to Celastic Town. Here's Cynthia. Was everything alright here? You saw those strange people with the galactic bomb, didn't you? But those team galactic people, I thought they were harmless. The bizarre, the bizarre ways they dress and all their wild claims about making a new universe. I thought it was just silly talk, nothing to take seriously. But they're surprisingly more trouble than expected. Trying to monopolize Pokemon just isn't acceptable. By the way, were the ruins fun to explore? If you're interested, there's a library in Kanalov City. It's stocked with ancient books. You can look up Sinnoh history there. It might help you complete your Pokedex, too. The quickest way to Kanalov City is to go west from Jubilee City. We're going to go ahead and do that in the next episode, but for now, I'm going to explore the whole city, and I'll cut to when I find interesting items. We got the Analog Watch app. Alright guys, so I explored the whole city, and the Analog Watch is all I could find. So that's gonna do it for the next for this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna be making our way to Candle City and probably taking on Iron Island. See you guys next time.